Hello guys, how are you today? Welcome to Bean's Vlog. Now today we're going to talk about basic uh, wiring, uh, basic troubleshooting for our uh, emergency stuff. Some of the people asking me why we have this kind of problem, why are we having this kind of uh, trouble. So this is very simple thing you have to understand about emergency stuff means uh, there is uh, uh, two functionalities this one to urgently stop the engine we have the normally close push button this one and uh, sometimes it is a series the two um, normally close button or the normally close contact so how we can explain more about this so we need some connections in order to understand you more about this uh, connections and the functionality of this uh, emergency stop So now guys, uh, if you see in our, or if you look in our uh, diagram here for our uh, 6110 and 6220 module, so as you can see here, the emergency stop, it is connected from your uh, positive supply. So we have the fuse here, and we have the emergency, emergency stop here. So this one is normally closed. And it is connected to our three now for example if emergency stop is become open somebody will pause or trigger up the emergency stop this one will become normally open so it will cut the supply so it will no supply going to our number three so it will indi indicate to our module that it's having and emergency stop and the most important there is also affected your uh, fuel uh, output supply and your starter output supply meaning if you cut the supply from here there is no output also for your fuel and your starter supply so it will cut also now I will show you also this to your to our uh, actual wiring I will make a wiring for you some because sometimes our connections is too uh, um, normally close uh, contact is series and to uh, emergency stop and our canopy emergency stop some also are connected uh, to the digital input which you can use also that one as your canopy emergency stop i will show you that how it will work at this point okay so okay guys i have here the 6120 uh, module and so as you can see there is some alarm and emergency stop so how we can fix this one and how we can do the wirings for this so in order to understand you uh, I mean in order to make you understand the connections so we have here the supply as uh, you can see in our diagram we have here the supply so we have the negative number one and the number two is our positive this is the uh, red and yellow so this one is our uh, negative so our three is our um, emergency stop and our four here is um, fuel and our number five is our starter so as you can see and I will make uh, uh, connections for you so you can easily uh, understand how it will work so so in the emergency stop we just need only uh, the positive connections for that so meaning 
I will just take uh, the positive supply from here. So I will just interconnect our positive here. So we don't have any uh, problem for that. Okay. So I will rejoin this one here. So we have the uh, positive supply. So I have here the two emergency stops. For example, we have the emergency stop for your panel and this one we are using two uh, canopy emergency stop. This is all uh, normally closed. As you can see, this one having and uh, markings for NC. As you can see, we have the NC and also this one is also an NC. So, now I connect from the positive here. So, I joined only uh, our connections. So the positive so we have a positive so now in order to work that for example you have the trouble so you just only check the positive supply either 24 or it is a uh, 12 volts so we just joined here to our connection so we just insert this one here to our uh, connections so you just insert and the other wire is uh, also we're going to connect from this side so we first we need to make it first one emergency stop as uh, our uh, in the diagram as we can see just is only we have the one emergency stop so once I connect this one to our um, uh, supply here in our number three so what will happen so meaning it is a complete circuit already so it is uh, connected and I will connect it from number 3 so I will connect it from our number 3 first thing if you want to know I will uh, connect here our multimeter I will put it here to a DC so you will see that there is some uh, positive supply going through this wire okay so so now I will put it that one and to our negative and I will show you that we have a 13 uh, volt supply so this is the end of our wire here for our uh, emergency stop number one so it is connected see as you can see it is connected so for example now I will connect it from here so my PC is rebooting so now I will connect from this side so as you can see what will happen to the alarm okay so now it is connected uh, so we connected from this side this is uh, the number two I joined that one because this number two is positive so I connected in number three so now we have the supply for that for our emergency stop so now alarms is gone just reset like that Re double click the push button stop so you can see our emergency stop is gone so here is our emergency stop if I push the button for example so now again we have the problem we have the alarm for emergency stop so how will you reset this one just release shoot the arrow just rotate it that one and like that still have the alarms and you can see still have alarms there just double click this stop button so as you can see alarms is gone so now that is how you will understand the functions of our emergency stop so this is having a positive supply directly to your uh, number uh, three connections if for example I remove the connections from number three same as uh, the 
the wire is cut or same as no supply so we have again the alarm because emergency stop means in the connection connection number three he needs a positive supply in order to work okay so next is we need to connect the two uh, emergency stop so meaning the connections for this one is in series connections only so since this one is um, all normally closed so meaning your voltage can pass through our wire going to your uh, connection number three okay so I will just take some wire to connect going to our module so now guys we have already the two emergency stop and it is connected in series this is in series so the first connections is our uh, from positive connections to your battery and going to your number three connections so for example first our uh, first of the emergency stop is in the panel emergency stop and the other one is your canopy emergency stop so any of the two will work as your uh, uh, emergency stop button so for example so so now as you can see here there is no alarm so if I press the if I press this one this is our uh, module emergency stop which is connected to our uh, panel uh, uh, emergency stop so if I press this one as you can see there is an emergency stop also so and you have to release that and reset same as our emergency stop number two here is our number one and this one is our number two so if you press this one this act as your uh, canopy emergency stop same it will work also so any of the two will uh, activate the I mean any of the two of emergency stop will become normally open it will appear as your emergency stop button it will not work it will not start your engine unless you reset it and then reset it here so now generator at rest so it is available anytime if you need it so that is the connections for our emergency stop that is very simple so if you have the two emergency stop it is connected in series and it is having the positive supply either uh, 24 or 12 VDC okay so that is a very simple how to check the wiring just use the multimeter put it in the first uh, prod into the negative so the other is the positive prod or the red prod prob. So you can connect this one to the number 3 if there is some positive so if if there is no supply means that any of the uh, any of the button is active or any of your um, uh, contact is open okay so this is the functions of an emergency stop so it is only uh, to cut the supply going to your um, module so it will not also trigger up your as in the diagram it will not trigger up your fuel and also your starter if in case that there is some alarm of emergency stop so that's all we have today guys that is very simple all is one uh, we're going to do now is all the basic um, troubleshooting I'm going to talk for this uh, month or how many uh, this I need to uh, do that one all the basic uh, troubleshootings just comment down below if you need something to do for our basic uh, troubleshooting and how we can do and check for that in order to fix that kind of problem so just comment down below to our YT so we can or I can make the video for you 
so you can easily understand where we can check where we can uh, connect our tester so it's easy for you to troubleshoot also for all the beginners there outside so just comment down below and also subscribe subscribe to my channel so we can do more videos for you so once again Vince Vlog is here I'm happy that you are watching for my video and just comment all what you think about it so see you again in my next vlog and I say thank you so much and bye bye